Hey, good Monday morning. Monday morning, signs of hope are all around us. Yeah, they really are. Um, spring is getting closer and closer. And this time change, I know it's going to take a couple days to, to adjust, but, uh, you know, it's going to be longer daylight, periods of daylight for all of us. So that's a good thing. Um, today, I want to talk about being impatient. Being impatient. And I think everybody watching this, we, we grow impatient. I mean, this last year showed us how impatient we can be. And when it comes to, you know, the pandemic, and it reminds us that we're just like the people in the Old Testament. You know, the Israelites were being led by Moses through the wilderness. And in Numbers chapter 21, it says the people grew impatient on the way. They grew impatient on the way. And sometimes when we grow impatient, we say things that we shouldn't say. We do things that we shouldn't do. We behave in ways that we shouldn't behave. And the people of Israel, they spoke out against God. They spoke out against Moses. And they had forgotten all the things that they escaped from when they entered freedom into the wilderness. They had forgotten how hard life was. They had forgotten that not only did they have taskmasters over them, but they didn't have the freedom that they now have in the wilderness. And they were on the journey to the promised land. So they grew impatient. And again, that's Numbers uh, 21 in the Old Testament. And it says they spoke out against God, against Moses. They said, why did you bring us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? There's no bread. There's no water. We detest this miserable food. So even though God was providing for them, they weren't happy with, with the provisions. They didn't like having the food that they had. They, they wanted bread. They wanted other options. They wanted other things. And, and again, they, they kept thinking and remembering the food that they had back in Egypt. But on this journey of Lent, sometimes we forget. And sometimes we do grow impatient. And what do we do when we grow impatient? We grumble against God. We grumble against other people. And, and I think that, that grumbling, that impatience, it not only hurts relationships, but it takes the, away the focus. For the Israelites, their focus was they were on the journey to the promised land. They were trusting God. God was with them. Pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. They could open their eyes day or night and they would know that God was with them. And and because the people grumbled and complained, God sent snakes. Yeah, serpents, snakes. Um, venomous snakes, the Bible says. Numbers chapter 21, verse 6. And it says that uh, they bit the people. Many Many Israelites died. And then what did the people do? after they see the snakes, after they see family members dying, after they see the misery of the snakes. Well, they go to Moses, they're like, hey, guess what, guy? I'm sorry. Um, will you pray for us? Will you intercede for us? And Moses, being a man of God, he does. He doesn't take things personally. Why? Because he understands human nature. He understands how the people are. He understands because he's just like them. Yeah. And, and so he does. He goes to God. He prays. And it says that Moses prayed for the people. And, and I want you to notice that the Lord doesn't, doesn't take away the snakes. He doesn't take away the serpents. Because their actions, their actions, their grumbling, their impatience, it brought some type of response from God. And what was that response? Well, it was serpents, snakes, venomous snakes among them. God doesn't take away the venomous snakes. Instead, what does God do? God provides a way for the people to be healed once they get bitten. And, and so he tells Moses to, to uh, make a snake, put it up on a pole. And anyone who is bitten can look at it and live. So May Moses made a bronze snake, put it up on a pole, 
than anyone who was bitten by the snake. Uh, they looked at the bronze snake and they lived. And so God provided a way out. And Jesus, over in the Gospel of John, when Nicodemus comes to visit him, John chapter 3, when Nicodemus comes to visit Jesus and asks, I mean, they have a conversation about being born again. And Jesus says in John 3, verse 14, Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. And so God provided a way for those that grumbled and complained in the Old Testament, in the wilderness. And God provides a way for all of us because we do grumble. We do complain. Uh, it's, it's human nature. And God understands. God sees. God knows. And what does God do? Well, God provides a way for us to have life and to have life eternally. So I don't know what today is going to bring for any of us. I don't know what this week is going to bring for any of us. But I pray that we'll have patience. I pray that we take things slow. We pray and we do what we can to make life a little easier for one another. Yeah, life is difficult. So pray for one another. Reach out to one another. Love one another. This is Pastor Bill from St. Luke's United Methodist Church, Harrisville, West Virginia, Ritchie County, West Virginia. Wherever you are, I hope you're happy, I hope you're healthy, and I hope you're safe. Have a great day, have a great week, and uh, again, God bless each and every one.